Welcome to the Infogram DataViz Workshop Series, a collection of instructional pieces that show you how to turn your numbers into charts. I'll guide you through best practices with plenty of helpful tips along the way. We've seen a lot of different chart types in this series, but one that's a little more obvious that shouldn't be overlooked is the use of text. Adding text to your charts and graphs is essential for making sense of your infographic. But text can also be used by changing the shape, the color, and the size to make its own visualization. A little bit of text combined with a clearly designed visualization can really bring your story to life. Here we'll take a closer look at text elements that you can use in your infographics. Our basic text objects are ordered by size. From largest to smallest, they are title, subtitle, and body text. Title goes at the top of your infographic. Subtitle is used to title your charts. Body text can be used anywhere you need to write additional, more detailed text to offer context. There is also a stylized quote block where you can use to draw your reader's attention to a particular bit of copy. Be careful which fonts and colors you choose. Infogram templates are optimally designed fonts and color palettes, so if you stick with the default, you can't go wrong. Also, use caution when adding bold. This goes for all text elements. Feel free to use bold to emphasize one important point, but with multiple text elements, bold loses its impact. Use body text to add a description under your subtitle or chart, or to add a link to your source or copyright information at the bottom. If you're a pro user, you'll be able to stylize all the fonts elements, including color and size, which you can match to any custom or branded colors you've used in your chart. As we've seen before, icons are a great way to point out one thing at a time, or to accentuate key data in your preceding chart. Choose an icon, enter a figure, number or text, then provide text to explain it. You can add as many as you want using different icons, or if you prefer, you can remove either the fact or the figure. Sometimes an icon's just not enough, and if you've got a photo or logo you'd like to insert, just upload it from your computer or search online from one of these open sources. Photos can offer a nice contrast to your data visualizations, adding impact to your infographic. They give a softer visual touch to your numbers. Embedding a video is an eye-catching way to add multimedia to your infographic, and is easily done, much like an image, searching using the open sources and drop it into your project. Tables are used primarily for cross-referencing data. Enter one set of variables in the first column and a second set of variables in the first row. Place the corresponding data in the squares that match up with both variables. If it's just a yes or no finding, switch to pictorial, choose an appropriate icon, and when you have anything typed in that box, the icon will appear. Spice up your tables with images. Say if you're comparing companies, drop their logos into the first row. Lastly, TreeMap and WordCloud are the best ways to visualize words associated with numbers. For these examples, we focus on common names and the tabs toggle to show you how they vary by country. The bigger the word or square, the more people with that name. That's to say, the bigger the value associated with it. We've officially covered the most commonly used charts in Infogram. Next, we'll look how to publish for your specific industry, how to share to your website, blog or social media, and how to generate reports, download and print it out and add it to your presentations. With Infogram's beautiful template styles and predefined color schemes, you only need to plug in your data and presto, publish it for web sharing and download. If you have any questions, reach out to our assistants and one of our data visualization experts will be happy to answer. Be sure to check out all the videos in our series. 